Good Tuesday morning and thanks for logging on to your Aggie Land Carpet One forecast. I'm meteorologist Natalie Ferrari, tracking a much quieter start to the day. We're just looking at mostly cloudy skies, but a few light spotty showers have already started to pop up on pinpoint radar. I'll go ahead and take a glance at those down through Lee County into Milam County, as well as Burleson and Robertson County. Again, just seeing a few stray pop-up showers. That light blue color you see there is actually moisture struggling to reach the ground. So maybe seeing a little bit of a light mist to a light drizzle out in that area. But when you start to see some more, more of the green, that's where we're dealing with very light rain starting to reach the ground. Again, that's going to be the extent of those rain chances this morning. Any rain that does move in from the west to the east this morning will be in the form of some light spotty showers. It's what we're watch watching for this afternoon. That could be a little bit more of a concern. We'll talk about that here in just a bit, but Mild and muggy conditions out there, lower to mid 70s, already waking up in the mid 70s down through Brenham and into Belleville. Even here in Bryan College Station, we've been dealing with the mid 70s as winds come in out of the east about 5 to 10 miles per hour. They could pick up more of a breeze later this afternoon, keeping lots of golf moisture and lots of humidity locked in here at home. But you can also see quite a bit of cloud cover continuing to build in. Lots of showers and storms have been rolling on through west Texas and west central Texas overnight through the very early morning hours. Some of that moisture outflowing to to us this morning and that's what's giving us that 20 percent chance of some spotty showers but you can see the thunderstorm activity associated with that has actually been fizzling out this morning that's not so much what we're concerned with as far as for this morning hours it's going to be this afternoon right after lunch and through the afternoon hours we could see additional scattered showers flare on up but some of them will bring some isolated thunderstorms which could pack a bit of a punch as far as heavy downpours now so severe weather won't be our main concern it's actually going to be any heavy rain that comes along with these thunderstorms because our ground just can't quite take any more of it. The ground's very saturated and we've seen plenty of rain, plenty of rain already. So any heavy downpours that do roll on through could produce the threat of some localized flooding. That will be our main concern. After sunset this evening, I think rain chances start to kind of fall apart. We'll keep things mostly cloudy through your Wednesday with a 20% chance in the forecast for a majority of Wednesday. Storm chances try to inch their way back in though by late Wednesday, really into your Thursday morning. Until then, looking at mild and muggy conditions, we'll aim for the mid 80s once again. Scattered rain chances continue through the morning hours and into the afternoon. However, we could look at a better shot at some actual thunderstorm activity this afternoon, some of which could give us brief heavy downpours. Again, localized flooding would be our main concern for today. That's something we will be watching out for. However, starting Wednesday all on through the rest of the week, we're just looking then for a 20 to 30 percent chance of rain, more hit and miss showers, so that will be some good news. We'll try to get a few peaks of sunshine by the end of the week. However, just expect things to be mostly cloudy with the daily shot at rain. Main concern day by day will be the potential for those isolated downpours. We'll be sure to keep you updated on any storms that do develop throughout today.